Hey guys, Dangerous Dictionary once again. And in today's video, I will be discussing the possible theory of Godzilla's devolution. If you are a Godzilla fanboy, this is your one warning to click off the video, as some parts may be insulting to Godzilla. I don't hate legendary Godzilla, I am just speaking the truth or my opinion in these videos. Anyways, for the people who are still here, sit back and relax as I discuss Godzilla's possible devolution. Godzilla in 2014 was shown to be pretty slow and weak compared to him in 2019 and 2021. Throughout the MonsterVerse, we see him face titans more powerful than himself, such as Tiamat and Ghidorah. Ghidorah is so far the most powerful titan confirmed to be in the MonsterVerse, so you would think that Godzilla in 2014 wouldn't stand a chance. Though it's been confirmed by directors that Godzilla already defeated Ghidorah millions of years ago. This was bizarre to hear, since the Godzilla we see in 2014 was slow and had trouble dealing with the male Muto alone. So how did a weak and younger Godzilla defeat the monster versus most powerful Titan? There are two potential theories as to how he managed to beat Ghidorah. Theory number one, being he had help from one or several Titans, but I plan to cover that in another video. Theory number two, is that Godzilla at a time was more powerful than his 2021 form, possibly being the same power level as his new pink form. A question many of y'all probably have is, if Godzilla was originally extremely strong, why was he so weak in 2014? This is because of a phenomenon known as devolution. Devolution is something that is experienced by animals that no longer require an ability to survive, so they evolve backwards or just lose the ability altogether. Devolution is still being argued among scientists, whether it actually exists, but since the monster versus a fictional universe, it's safe to use. An example of devolution is with an animal known as the Mexican blind cave fish. This fish originally was just a normal fish native to Mexico, but a few of these fish got trapped in a cave. Because of this new dark environment, these fish eventually lost their eyes completely. These fish now use vibrations and change in water pressure in order to get around their environment. This could be the same case with Godzilla. As we know, there used to be way more titans on Earth making the world way more hostile. In order to ensure the survival of the Godzilla species, they would need to be extremely strong, which explains why Godzilla keeps evolving to hold more power. It's not known why so many of the Titans died out, but as far as we know, there are only 35 confirmed species of Titans, and there is only one of each species except for the Kongs, Warbats, and Skullcrawlers. Because almost all the Titans were in hibernation, Godzilla didn't need all that power to handle some sleeping Titans causing Godzilla to most likely experience devolution while he was in hibernation, along with the other Titans that were still alive. Devolution can take millions of years similar to evolution, but since Godzilla is stated to be around 252 million years old, the theory of Godzilla experiencing devolution isn't that bizarre. Many of y'all may be asking Dangerous Dictionary. Why is Godzilla evolving again if there is barely any Titans left? Isn't that why Godzilla experienced devolution in the first place? Godzilla most likely experienced devolution while he was hibernating since all the other Titans were inactive, just like him. Now that the other Titans are awakening, Godzilla is evolving again due to him being at high risk of death. After Godzilla's dangerous situation with Shinomura, this may have triggered something in Godzilla causing him to evolve again. When Godzilla was awakened and pursued a titan known as Shinomura, Godzilla chased Shinomura for nine years before Shinomura was killed by humans. The humans end up killing Shinomura with an atomic bomb without the help of Godzilla. While Shinomura mainly ran from Godzilla, this was still a dangerous situation for Godzilla as Shinomura's fast evolution gave him the potential to be the strongest titan in the MonsterVerse. Though there are less titans in the ecosystem, the chances of Godzilla being killed are higher, and there's a better chance to be targeted by stronger titans in order for them to claim the role of Alpha. 
Despite Godzilla being alpha, there are some titans that won't hesitate to fight him such as Scylla, which is most likely why Godzilla seems to be evolving at such a rapid rate. There have been cases in real life when animals sped up evolution due to the severe conditions of their environment. In the 1940s, Europeans began using mass amounts of pesticides against bed bugs, but because of all the pesticides being used, bed bugs gained an immunity to the pesticides within a single decade. A decade is an extremely fast time for an evolution process, as it usually takes thousands of years on average. Since Godzilla woke up from hibernation in a completely different environment, with an extreme change in Titan population, there is a high chance that this may have sped up the evolution process. Now that the Titans are currently awakening and creatures from the Hollow Earth are coming to the surface, this may allow Godzilla to evolve even faster. I should also mention that we don't know much about Godzilla's pink form right now. At the moment, we don't even know if Godzilla's new form will be permanent, and for all we know, Godzilla may revert back to normal after a certain amount of time. I hope you guys enjoyed this theory video. I thought it was interesting that Godzilla beat Ghidorah in his weaker state, but this theory may be the answer as to how. Comment down below if you think Godzilla will keep evolving. This video was short, but it was a pain to make, so if you enjoyed, please stomp the subscribe button and scratch the like button. Thank you for coming to this channel and I hope to see you in my next dangerous video.